Good morning. It's been a few days since I've been on. I'm going to do a quick little read. I got my citron going. I need some clearing and cleansing myself. Reminds me of the sun. The sun is out. Days are becoming more beautiful. The lifting of the mandate of the masks are getting changed. People are getting out in the world again. Just remember. Remember the tranquility and the peace that we had during COVID. Remember that not all of us had to stay alone. Some of us were with a lot of people. So we all come with different perspectives coming out of COVID. So just remember to keep family first, your heart, your peace, your spirituality. Keep full alignment and balance in your own life spiritually, right? And I think that this world could be a better place. That's what spirit's purpose was for COVID. Not for, for bad things, but just for people to see the better understanding of what really what our gifts are in the spiritual realm. So let's get into the quick read I have. Good morning, everyone. I am pre-shuffling. And what I would like to say is let's go morning, noon, and night. Let's see what the energy for spirit is today. I am nursing tendonitis, so my arm, they're not going to stop me from pulling cards today. Two of Pentacles, opportunity. Which way should you go? We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And my final card for today is Ten of Swords. Okay, so the balance between closing out cycles, letting what no longer serves us go, and moving into a positive and better direction. Even though the Ten of Swords here looks like it's painful, that's kind of how I feel right now. Painful in regards to where our future is heading, right? We have 10 and 10, closing out a cycle um, and reinventing ourselves, reinventing an opportunity, really taking the opportunity to work on ourselves. To me, this isn't a card of hurt. It's the closing of the cycle of your emotional status, right? We have coming forward with passion, love, and desire here, commitments, making a change here, closing out two cycles parallel. That's the worry. That's love, right? Worrying what to do, letting someone go. Choices now, who do you dive in with? Do you dive in with you first? Do you dive in with someone else first? Uh, what are you going to do? I'm trying to get this camera stable because I'm in a different location this morning. Come on, spirit, work with me here. I guess that'll have to do. All right, let's clarify the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles is a partnership. I have a new beginning coming and the closing of a new beginning. So you and your partner, these two people are mirroring each other. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take it as it resonates. If it's not your reading, please don't make it fit. Uh, but if it is, just take it, take it one step at a time, right? Maybe you're getting over a divorce or you're heading towards love at this point. But whatever direction you may be moving forward and your partner may be closing out cycles, Two again, confirmation, two of swords, two entities, two decisions, abandonment, closing out chapters is what I heard, letting go of what no longer serves you. And that's kind of ironic, letting go of what no longer serves you, right? Because we believe when we're a child that in our life, complacency is based around home, shelter, love, those kind of things. But as you get older, they're really not. They're about self-sufficiency. Being able to be alone, spiritually aligning yourself so that your core does not get shattered. Uh, and sometimes it's taking it out. Actually feeling the pain is what I'm hearing, right? So you and your partner are mirroring each other. And what I had come out as I flip the cards here is a whole new story. It's someone watching and spying in regards to this offer, right? Um, tattooing, you left a place in their heart. Maybe someone doing some black magic uh, because they can't get to the root of the problem. They're trying to stop your person from moving forward with you, but your person was either caught watching you or thrown out in the cold. Someone walked away from someone or someone here basically said, look, if you can't choose, then don't choose me finally. Uh, and someone had been holding on for a really long time. I have the emperor showing up, which is Aries energy. This is Hierophant. This is confirming back here. The two and the ten, right? We have two Taurus here or two of Virgo. We also have the world, right? Sitting here, finally, after all of the things that someone tried to stop you, right? Uh, acupuncture. We have 
spells. We have a voodoo doll. If you believe in that stuff, I don't do dark magic, only light magic. But hey, uh, I think that even in the beginning of life, we all have some sort of spirituality that leads us towards this direction in your intuitive gifts. But the emperor's standing, standing tall. No matter what they did to you, no matter how they tagged you, no matter. This is really serious here. This is how I feel sometimes. There's a spiritual warfare going on here to see if someone is going to give up. But we have two and two, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius at the bottom, and then uh, the, the center of the read is fast moving energy in regards to a cup. It is a cup with someone looking backwards. Um, someone's trying to move forward. Someone's trying to start a new beginning. I think your person feels the shake, right? They feel the opportunity that they had with you to take the 10 of cups and they did not do that. Uh, they stayed in their own thought process, worrying, completely causing their own drama and anticipation. And then ultimately it left them leaving you out in the cold right? Going towards growing your spirituality, growing uh, your beliefs with God or Buddha who, or whomever you are, you know, looking forward to. But we have communication coming in here from the cup. Uh, there is a goat there, Libra energy as well. Someone watching, someone mimicking you, wanting to be like you. Their partner would like to be like you is what I heard. And then they have cast a spell on you and him so that you don't want... You know, Feminine or masculine energy, I apologize. Um, putting some sort of spell on you to keep you grounded or stop. But what they didn't know is that spirit gave you the power. We all have the power inside of us to dictate what our future outcome is going to be. And that's strong emperor energy here. Aries is the first, the youngest of the zodiac signs. Always seems to find and manage a new path or a new way around things. And then it leads to the lovers. Couldn't make that shit up. That's Gemini energy. That's someone coming in. Uh, whether it's them or a new person coming in and offering you... The love that you desire and deserve. So they they tried to stop this union from happening and unfortunately it didn't work. Yep, victory. Chariot movement. Confirmation. They're coming in. What's stopping them, spirit, from coming in here? What has been stopping them? Is it the black magic? Is it um, someone's just not ready to open up? Okay, we have the six and the three, which is they're close to ending a cycle. I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong here. We have someone bringing a gift forward and they are carving the path. Uh, of a new opportunity with you, trying to windle or work on something that's important to you. And it is a gift from the heart. Coming to visit, the person watching or cross watcher could have a son, uh, but really getting to the heart of it, right? Missing the both of you. Keys were on the bottom of this, the key to that door. There's multiple keys for you. See, there's multiple doors there. This might not be your only choice, whomever's watching, but they tried to stop you from moving forward there, the karmic partner. What is the karmic's investment here? I just want to pull a side card real quick here. What is the karmic's end game here? Since they're trying to mimic you and be like you, get a tattoo like you, or up, oh, they want to keep their person stuck, right? They want to keep you out of their eye because it seems like you're the apple of their eye. If you go back here, where's it at? Right here in the garden, you're the apple of their eye. Someone's maybe either going towards tarot, watching you do tarot. Someone's spiritual here that's watching this with the emperor and the high priestess and hierophant that I can feel in the card would like to come out. New beginning. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's the keys for the doors and they're bringing money. They've been working on their uh, their penance and their money to try to come and get you. Then I have the Knight of Wands who's coming in my fast energy. Two nights back to back and a nine. So it looks like here that there is some competition coming in. The Knight of Chalice and the Knight of Wands. Wishy-washy energy. But I'm seeing you as the Knight of Chalices going towards something finally that you want. It is stability and love. It is the nine holding down the fort. And it is not so sure at this point, even though you're offering your love, your knight is sitting there waiting and waiting for the crows that are coming in with the messages here. You're very emotional about the situation. Spirit said, wait, sit and wait, wait for them to go first. Sometimes whoever speaks first in business loses the opportunity to close the deal. Spirit's telling me here, wait, clearly wait. Okay. Dropped a card and the cards, hold on a minute, it's stuck. Sorry, my tendonitis is. Really, spirit, it's not funny today. There it is. Fix it. Love and relationships. Sit down and communicate. Someone would like to talk to you. I see this every day. Readers say, your person's coming, your person's coming. And I get so aggravated sometimes. Like, when is your person coming? 
So we have a nine down here mirroring, mirroring the six, both uh, same number, same circumstance. Could be your life number is six. It is the lover's card. Back in the old ritual, it was the card of choice. Who were you going to choose? There is definitely, yep, choices here, soulmate. This is your person. They're coming back for you. You lit the light. See, no dark demonic energy can ever stop you from what divine has for you. When spirit and God says, hey, look, this is your person. This is who you have to go through life to find. There's nothing they can do about it. Hands on time. And you've been weathering the storm, whoever's watching. There's some hurtful words here. So maybe at one point your gate was closed and there was no opportunity, but now it's open for love. It's funny how this happens. This person is definitely coming forward now to tell you how they feel. They want to embrace the sunrises and the sunsets with you. It wasn't right timing before. They tried, but every time they tried to move forward, spirit would hold them back. Maybe from not disturbing your life or really letting your spiritual gifts grow. There were some differences. You were not on the same page at that time, feeling the energy from the karmic. Um, she kept stopping and mimicking you to get them to want them. And then your past returns. An ex-lover from your past. They would like to rewrite your story. And they would like to change your heart here. Right from the bottom of the deck. Final outcome here for whoever's watching this morning. It is a beautiful Thursday morning. I can't believe it's like the first week of May is out of here. Just last year, COVID was just starting. Final card here. Final card here for my love oracles. The soul reflection. Love this deck. And... Faith in destiny, things will work out in the end. Okay, so what Spirit's saying here is because they have a lot of regret your person, they have a lot of passion for you, they're watching you on social media, it's your divine masculine. However it resonates for you, it's an unquitted love here. Spirit, anything else? Yep, it was lustful at one time, you couldn't keep your hands off of each other. Um, but right now things are unclear. You guys had some fun times together. They had some control issues. They're unclear at this moment, whether their feelings, their karmic feelings, or your feelings, that's confirmation. Uh, which one was real and which one wasn't? Contemplating their life, going back, looking at their life, trying to figure out, were you really their person? Was the person they left you for their person? Um, very confused, but finally getting to the heart of the matter. Their regret is really kicking in that they didn't get to say everything they wanted and they're coming for the divine feminine. So it's ironic how it lands right here right and at the bottom of the deck last card i'm going to read from is take my hand take my hand and walk in the rain you live i heard this last week it was from barry manilow no i'm sorry kenny rogers i was doing a private reading for someone else and it was triggered the same song but spirit wants you to know that they want you to trust them this time they didn't put you guys through this to hurt the both of you. Changing is on the bottom of the deck, Spirit. But what Spirit did is pulled you apart to show you how much stronger the connection was when you guys really worked on yourselves. Person of fire. We have a fire sign coming in. Transcending leader, confident, visionary, catalyst. I sense this is the divine feminine. I think the divine feminine here is what I'm getting from the energy is that they had to take their high priestess they took a mental and physical abuse because they thought it was love. When all along, which Dorothy says is the power is within you. You're strong-willed, right? L ruthless. This person didn't like that. The person that's coming forward might be into bodybuilding is what I just saw on the card. You are their wish fulfillment. And they have a trap set up for you, so be careful. Either them or their karmic is setting up a trap to try to trick you, maybe on social media. Chocolate. Flamingos is the lover's. We have the bracelet. We have brand new beginnings. Let's see what else here. Spirit, give me a couple cards here for my watchers and cross watchers to end this reading for the morning. Okay, we have the mirror. I said in the beginning, mirroring each other. Self-awareness, make comparisons, reflection. They were a narcissist. Self-love and self-appreciation. So this person had no self-esteem. Most narcissists come towards an empath because an empath is very completely confident from their childhood and upbringing, uh, social butterfly, really okay with talking to others and getting in the limelight. This person, unfortunately, came from the opposite kind of effect, really didn't have that stability growing up. And right now they're playing strategic counter moves, master plan, power play, game theory, consequences of their actions, right? going backwards so this is definitely someone from the past spirit give me the final outcome here i love my 108 zodiac oracle cards come on spirit give me a card here 
final outcome. Spirit, 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 show me, show me, show me, show me. Show me, show me, show me what you want me to see. Show me what my watchers and cross watchers need to see here. Show me, show me, show me. Show me what will it be. Scuba diver, four, mirroring energy, going within observation, desire to know, self-reflection. There it is again, deep thoughts and subliminal messages. So we have deep reflection on both of you. Looking back, something in between you strategically trying to come forward to you to tell you how they feel, right? It was almost like God just placed this person in your life. You didn't see it coming. And here, they're they're down, they're drowning, right? You're coming up as the, the lotus the flower uh, rising from the mucky waters, but they're going down and you're going up. So there's a transformation going on here. They're trying to mirror you, watching everything that you do. And they are really, really, really in regret. What do I do now? How do I get out of hangman, right? Do I bring them a gift? I picked the wrong person. This is my divine feminine. She's absolutely beautiful is what I heard. She's the one I wanted all along. She's the one I waited my whole life for, but my ego got in the way. Past life and its fate and destiny. Final card for the outcome. I just fear it just wants me to keep moving on because there's someone who definitely needs to see this this morning. Someone is coming. I'm sorry that there's no actual date. I see the third. Maybe it's June 3rd. Maybe it's three days. Maybe it's three hours, three weeks. But I see three strong. It's sitting out there in the deck. Spirit's bringing my eye towards it, right towards it. Blinders. Yep. Eight. Communication. Tunnel vision. Resist. Clarity. Confirmation. Ego. Denial. Concentration. Hyper focus. They are hyper focused on making this move. Past lies with horses. Chariot. The horse is moving towards the future. There's a brand new direction coming in. And this is definitely a past life that's catching up to you with this divine timing to go ahead and, and use your visionary. Use your spiritual gifts to find each other. You've been out of touch for quite some time. Uh, they want no more confusion. Victim mentality this summer there's the final answer the two of you moving forward from three to six months the mother within three to six months it's the waxing quarter moon well there you go in the summer there it is love and victory eight and two is ten closing out this chapter and it's time to move on and start a brand new life together well i hope you enjoyed the private little read this morning even though i have tendonitis wishing you all the love and joy and happiness on this beautiful thursday manifest abundance look how beautiful that card is a mother's love is the greatest gift of all i think your person finally made truce and peace with his mother or her mother but there's some childhood wounds here that were really holding this person from truly loving maybe they got advice from their mother and it was wrong based on their mother or father's own experience uh, with a connection as a child but this person has definitely done the work they're your person they're coming towards you i wish you all the love and love and i hope the relationship with your mother as mother's days come ends in a positive note namaste outdoor healing 11 